I've never heard it creak like that. It was creaking like the bed. What was that? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hey guys, I'm Kayleen, and today we are trying each other's turkey, turkey wings. wings. So Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. I get to spend it with family from near and far. I see my cousins from all walks of life. Sometimes we go on some walks after, after dinner, if you know what I mean. The best part about Thanksgiving is the part where we give thanks. Thanks to the Lord, thanks for what we have, but also thankful for the food. The turkey in my family is one of the main events. You have to have your ham and the rest of your meats for sure. My favorite thing for Thanksgiving are the sides. I'm talking sweet potatoes, I'm talking macaroni and cheese, I'm talking when the sweet potatoes and the macaroni and cheese kiss a little bit. At the end of the day, I'm always gonna get dark meat. The wings, the leg, anything that's like juicy. I gotta go with the dark meat. I would say I'm a light meat girl. The hardest part about making turkey wings is making sure you're cooking it to perfection. It can easily dry out at certain times. It's also a bigger piece of meat. Pause. But whatever it is that we're eating, just know we will be full. I made a smothered turkey wing with a butter bean base. This for me, y'all, was an experiment. I was kind of trying to let the ancestors guide me. I don't know if they guided me a little too far to the left, but I think it tastes delicious. On the side, I have spinach with sun-dried tomato rice. Then I have typical cornbread. And yes, y'all, it's box. Mind your business. Okay, okay, let's go. Somebody went above and beyond. I was told we were only supposed to supply one side, but here I see two. Ooh, I can smell that the turkey wing has spices there. Something's making it a little bit spicy. I'm getting curry, but I could be tripping. It's definitely different than mine. I personally like having my gravy on the side. I cook my wings in the gravy, and then I pour additional gravy on top. This is good, and I taste flavor all the way through. It's cooked really, really well. It's missing kind of like the crunch that I have on mine on top, but the flavors are definitely there. I think the inside is moist, it looks moist. With the gravy, it's just all I'm getting is burst of flavor. And I probably would have liked a side of the gravy just because I like it real, real saucy. Okay, so I think this is like a rice pilaf situation. Okay, okay what is in the rice? It looks like a dried, like sun-dried tomato, maybe some spinach. I feel like there are greens in the rice. I could be wrong. It's very good. It's a little thick. And I'm gonna go into the cornbread. It has honey literally on top. It's glistening, y'all. It's giving jiffy. It's giving box. But like, what's wrong with box? Very good. Not as sweet as I'm used to. I would definitely finish this on a regular meal, but on Thanksgiving, I don't want rice on Thanksgiving. One out of 10, I give it like a 6.5. I'll give it an 8.5. Overall, I think it's very flavorful. It's just missing a little bit of that wow factor for me. So I give it like a 6.5. Today, I brought turkey wings, homemade gravy, and a side of sweet potato. For the wings itself, we put a little bit of sasson in the seasoning grub. Me and my mama make gravy from scratch. That means taking the wing tips that we use and putting that in the broth and making our own stock. Tastes mad good, what can I say? <laughs> this looks really good, y'all. This is a whole bowl of gravy, guys. It smells good. This gravy smells really good. Sweet potatoes smell excellent. Is this sugar? What is this? You can literally see the brown sugar sitting on top. So I'm really excited for that. Not a fan of pecans, but I will try it. Oh. That's good. But I feel like I just got diabetes. I'm definitely getting a lot more of the yam than the brown sugar. It's so, so good. Is it sweet potatoes or is it yam? Is it both? Is it the same thing? I'm gonna try the wing without the gravy. I think you're getting more of the flavor from the skin versus the actual meat, but it's good. It's definitely moist. It's missing a little something. Hot sauce, Tabasco. Maybe I need to put the gravy on it. The gravy is thick. She's a thick girl. It's a little chunky. I'm not afraid of a little chunk in my gravy and in my men. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The gravy took it up a thousand notches. When I say smothered, that thing is smothered. I would say maybe seasoning like the actual inside meat would be like my only suggestion. I probably wouldn't have this as a leftover. Like I'd probably skip the turkey, but keep them potatoes. I'd eat that three days a week. On a scale of one to 10, I would give this an eight. I will give this an eight. 
if they added just a little bit of that spice, just a little kick, I would have given this a 10. To make my turkey wings, first and foremost, I brine them overnight. You wanna put these babies in the slow cooker and then you're gonna add all your special seasonings to them. And you're gonna put them in the broiler for about two to three minutes so that they can get a little bit crispy and brown on the skin. I would say the hardest part is not wanting to disappoint my auntie. This is her recipe. Her food brings us all together, so I know everybody is gonna love this. Okay, we got the gravy on the side, which gives me the power to add as much gravy as I want on this. I don't know, it looks like a freaking GMO wing. Like why, why are they so huge? I need to see a turkey in real life. That skin though, that's a nice crisp on that. Greens are there, right now they looking a little dry. I don't see any meat in it though. Girl, that is tart. It feels like it's spicy, but it's not from spice, it's from sourness. Okay, the greens are very good. Oh gosh, it's a little oily too. Mm. I see salt and pepper. I wish that it had more flavor. <laughs> uh, I gotta put some gravy on top. Let me smell the gravy. I smell a lot of seasoning in the gravy, so maybe that's the star. That makes it better. I'm not mad. The gravy is really carrying the seasoning for me. I finished this turkey wing. I like the skin, how she did it. I don't know how she did it, but it's perfectly done. The turkey kind of tastes a lot like, like the chicken you get in the grocery store. If it's Thanksgiving, I want like complex flavors. I would give it an 8.5. It does have a very welcoming taste. Like I could eat this over and over again and not get tired of it. The whole plate, I'm gonna give a five. The greens are Beyonce, and the wings is like, who's that girl that that was in the original and then left because Beyonce was like, you gotta go get your luggage? Farah. Farah? The wings were Farah. What's up, y'all? My name is BJ the Chicago Kid. I'm here with Coco Butter. We about to try some turkey wings. On my birthday is Thanksgiving season. I get to see family. And they actually know what they're doing in the kitchen. I love the turkey skin. If it's seasoned right, got the right rub on it, whatever they, you know, do to specialize. If it's fried, you know, we have turkey many different ways. You cook it in a pressure cooker, it fall right off the bone, so the whole part is your favorite part. I know my way around the kitchen, but I'm gonna see what they gonna put before me today. I'm gonna see what, what they got for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it. The corn muffin makes me feel like home. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what's going on with this turkey. Red gravy, I don't know if it's spicy. I, I see green, y'all. Uh-uh. All right. If I went to someone's house and they gave me this, I won't know how to get rid of it. It's too damn big. It is not too salty. That counts for something. Make it six. It smell good. I don't know what that is right there, but I'm gonna chill on that. The gravy right here, let me see. I'm not mad at the flavor. It, it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty balanced. It's cooked thorough to the bone. I could taste a little piece of the white meat. Surprisingly moist. If this wing was on my plate for Thanksgiving, I would finish it. I give it a seven. <laughs> Smells pretty good. I smell more greens than the turkey. This gravy is thicker. Saute, damn. I'm gonna try this piece with the skin. All right, here we go. I compare seasoning to music a lot. Salt is your high end. Your herbs and your garlics and all that stuff is like your mid range. And your peppers and your pepper flakes and your spices, the low end, that's the sub. I only taste high end. I wouldn't finish it, but I would eat it just to have some protein. On a scale from one to 10, I get this joint like a six and a half. Yeah, um, it was fun to taste the turkey wings and gravy. Speaking of gravy, I have an album titled Gravy. Support it.
Okay, so I knew that BJ had amazing musical taste, but it warms my heart to know that he also has phenomenal culinary taste because I knew I was gonna win. I mean, like, <laughs> look what the merchandise be looking like. I am not alone in knowing that I am, in fact, the best. Honestly, can't believe that this happened because I know this food was delicious. I'll take this loss gracefully. I'm not gonna lie, I have not lost before, but there's a first for everything. Next time, maybe I'll actually check my family cookbook to get the recipe, because clearly this one wasn't it.